back at you again. This is what happens when you're not working. <laughs> you get a day off, you know. You got time to put some more videos out. So we are. Hold up. Go do a little deadlifts. Deadlifts here, deadlifts there. With a band. good to have this doing bad deadlifts hurt <laughs> so if you actually have some bars like this it will be very useful just FYI this is my first time actually using the bands to this the uh, the bar for dumbbells to do this Let's see how well it works. It should work good. <sighs> Two. It's not about the deadlifts. Every time I do the deadlifts, it doesn't matter what form I use. <laughs> My back is sore after. Like, not right after, but a day or two days. My my back is just sore. It's not like my back is hurting, like I injured myself. It's just my back is just all sore if I don't deadlift like that. Every time, my back is super sore. First, I thought I was injuring myself. And I looked it up, and everybody's like, yeah, when you deadlift, your back gets sore. So, there we go. Oh, yeah, 14. Because this band is so thick, it's hard to just There we go. I think I'm 14. Or 15. 15. Okay. Well, I have to start 14. They say you're supposed to tighten your your quads, your glutes, and explode up. Fifteen. Sixteen. Do 
I do. Definitely gets the heart rate up. Way faster than uh, Benjamin. That's for sure. And bench press, for you to get your heart rate up to burn enough calories, you literally have to be pushing your body. Like in the beginning when I was like, like pushing myself to the limit every time. And I take a breath and then we'll try to do two more. Take a couple breaths, try to do two more. That's the pushing I'm talking about. And that is very tiring. You have to push yourself that hard doing this. Those whole five minute breaks and whatever breaks we be doing. It's not gonna work. Your heart rate's not gonna go high. You will keep like a moderate heart rate. Probably from 80 to 100. If you're an active person. It's not gonna go that high. You have to keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. Take a couple seconds, push, push, push. Seconds, push, push, push. So we're at 25. Six. my grip and lose my grip even with this thing it's imagine without it it's very hard to do band or... well let's use a thinner band <laughs> but the thick band is a really strong band so I like the really strong band <sighs> but I'm not I'm not even gonna Act like my back actually hurt. <laughs> my back, my back actually feels sore right now. <laughs> it does. My back literally feels sore right now. And just thinking back at it, I think my back always felt like it every time I did deadlift too. So I didn't think about it too deeply when I said after two days, my back. That, but that's the, it's a different soreness. It's like the workout soreness. The real soreness is the one I feel every t after two days or a day. Most like It's mostly after two, the second day is when I really feel a workout. Like the right after, the day after, it's almost like, what? Did I even do anything? It's like, oh, whatever. And the following day, like, whoa, I feel that now. I don't know how much people actually feel the workout on the second day instead of the uh, the day after. So we have 35. So in 10 reps, I'm able to get my heart rate up to 139 beats. In 10 reps. Yes, I just made it harder.
do. Seven. I'm gonna start by 40. I'll go for 50. I'll start 40 on this one. Three, seven. I feel like going 50. <laughs> 10 more. Okay, so we could do it. 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 Pause. The 50 man. Let's go. 